Okay, hi guys, uh, it's me and Cedar here. We are gonna do the art project for this week. I've got a glare on my glasses. Um, we're at home today, um, which I'm sure you guys are still at home today too. Um, so we're not at the studio, but we're here. And we're gonna do our art project at our kitchen table. Um, if you are working at your kitchen table and you don't have, um, you don't want to ruin your mom's table. Um, we have some newspaper that we've laid down to protect our kitchen table. You can also use a plastic placemat or something like that um, to cover your, protect your surfaces. So in your packet you received, you should have um, this uh, project, it's the flower base project. And you are welcome to use this as your template to start with your flowers, or you can draw your own base, any shape, any shape or form is fine. Um, you also have your idea um, inspiration page. These are lots of different ways to draw flowers. Um, you can do them all kinds of different ways. So be creative and we're gonna get started. What you need for materials, you will need um, a black crayon, or if you have it, a black um, oil pastel. That's what we're gonna draw with. And you will need either watercolors or acrylic paints. Today, I think we're gonna use, oh, thanks. I think we're gonna use um, acrylic paints and um, watercolor too. So we're gonna mix ours up a little bit. And the inspiration for today's project is all of the spring flowers that are coming up. Cedar, have you seen some flowers? Mm. Have you seen flowers outside? Hmm? What colors? Yellow, green, strawberry. Yeah, we've been busy planting vegetables and fruits today. We got pink. pink yep. We got to plant some um, strawberry plants today. So we're excited about those. They already are blossoming and so they'll have some strawberries on that after the blossoms go away. Um, right now I'm looking at some beautiful tulips outside. They're hot pink and we have some purple flowers outside and we just finished replanting a rose bush that we had that does yellow roses. So there's lots of inspiration outside for flowers. Um, all you got to do is just look out your window and you can find it. You can tell I'm a little sunburned because we've been outside working in the garden. Okay, so I'm going to pause this video so you can get all of your materials together and then we will come back and I'll guide you through the drawing and the painting and we will <laughs> have a blast. Cedar likes to look at himself in the camera. Okay, <clears throat> so I, I tried to lower the iPad a little bit so you could see what our hands were doing. We're working on, I've ordered something to help us with that. So as soon as that comes in the next video, we'll be able to angle the the iPad to be able to um, show what we're actually drawing. I know it's kind of hard to follow just looking at our faces. Okay, so we've got to draw our vase first. Now you can be creative. You can do all kinds of shapes for your vase. Your vase can be round, it can be long and tall. It can look like a jar, like we have our jar of water. Um, it can look like a curvy vase. There is no limit to what your vase can look like. What kind of vase do you want to draw? That. Okay. I I, I dotted I dotted I dotted the line so I could just trace it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm gonna take my oil pastel and I'm gonna draw mine. I'm gonna do a cylinder base. So I'm gonna draw two straight lines for mine. Draw it. Yep. They're not even, but I'll fix that. Now, when we want to show that something is round, we have to curve the edges of the bottom and the top. So I'm going to give it a curved edge on the bottom, just like that. Okay, you want to draw your sides? Yep. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. Leave it open at the top. Oh, you closed it. <laughs> no, that's the opening. Okay. Okay. I just draw that because it's it's open, but it just looks. Yes. Okay. So at the top of mine, I'm also going to do a curved line. So I have two straight lines and two curved lines, right? Okay. Now, oh, you want to see Cedars? He drew one that's kind of curvy. I don't know if you can 
can see that. There you go. All right, now we gotta do, um, and be sure that you leave some space up here at the top so that you have plenty of room to do flowers. You don't wanna draw your base all the way to the top. And if you've messed up, just flip it over. Isn't that awesome? The next thing we wanna do is give it a surface to stand on. So we're gonna give it a straight line for the table. Can you draw the table? Uh oh, he dropped his crayon. Okay, um, so your paper should look something like this right now. It should have a vase of some sort with a table across and that's it. You can put your oil pastel or your crayon away at this point. So put your crayon away. There you go. And let's see, we are going to watercolor in our background. Do you want... Um, I need blue. Yep, I'm gonna do a blue background too. Um, it's gonna be a blue sky in the sun. Yeah. Let's see which. I need a crayon for the sun. Yeah? Okay. I am putting our brushes in some water. Do you want this brush? This one? No, that one's too big. Too big? Okay. How about this one? This one looks like a good one. Yeah. Okay, wet your brush. And then we're gonna dip it in the water and then dip it into the um, watercolors and we're gonna start painting in the background of what's behind the base. Try not to get your paper too wet because we're gonna go back in and add flowers. Do you like sparkly blue? <laughs> Do you like sparkly blue? I like blue. Yeah. Whoa! Can you imagine Lucy and Sophia and Reagan? I see. Ooh, that is that is very sparkly. Ooh, I like that. We got some watercolors in the mail. I ordered them from Amazon, and they have they're called Komaribi, I think, um, but it's Japanese watercolor, and they have sparkly paints have like glitter and stuff in them. Um, I bet Collins is working with you too. Do you remember all your classmates? Mm -hmm. Whoa! <laughs> I love it. It's sparkling and it's moving. Mm -hmm. see it. Whoa! Ow! Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I keep dripping on the surface. I need to draw green down here because down here it's going to be the grass. You think so? Uh huh. Okay. We can make a green grass or table. Okay, so this is what mine looks like right now. I've painted in kind of a textured background. I'm actually going to switch at this point to acrylic paints. You can use whatever you have at home um, to work with. So don't feel like um, you have to have exactly what I'm using. You can use markers or crayons or whatever you have available. You can create art with it, okay? So I think I'm going to do, um, yeah. I think I'm going to use this color to paint my base. This brush is really big. It's hard to paint spaces. It is? This brush is really big. It's hard yeah. to paint. If you slide your hand down closer, you can have more control. Cool, yeah, huh? I have more control whenever I'm doing this. Yeah, if you hold your paintbrush way up like this, it's hard to control it. So just slide your hand down towards the bottom and you have more control over it. Okay, I'm going to talk about something that is a little bit 
more advanced, but it's called double loading. We're gonna use this technique. If you have acrylic paints, we're gonna use this technique on the flowers, but it's called double loading your brush. And all it does is create more depth when you paint. It's a really simple um, Mommy. process, but you can see like one side of my brush is white and one side of my brush is green. Yes. Is that too wet? Oh, it's fine. It's super sparkly. Okay, so if I'm gonna say that my light is coming from here, I'm gonna take the white side of my brush and I'm gonna start right down the side of that base. And what that's gonna do is give highlight to my base. What's that? I'm painting it in. I'm painting in the color of my vase. And then as I paint across, I'm not going to have any white on the opposite side because that's going to be the dark side. What do you think? Does it look good? Can you paint yours? Do you want to do yours the same color? Huh? I'm going to do mine different. Or sparkly green. You're going to do some more watercolors? Should I use sparkly green or normal green? Just whatever you want is fine. Ooh, sparkly You can green. also use your newspaper. If you have newspaper on your table, you can use it to sparkly. blot. The sparkly. The sparkly red. Yeah. Orange. Why don't I move yeah. this over here next orange, to you? Yellowish and sure yellow. use that more. Excuse us. Um, yeah, you can use any colors that you see. Uh, but yeah, you can use your newspaper to blot the excess water off of your paintbrush. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I see. Yeah. Green. Okay. So here we go. We've got a base now. And you see I've gone my dark side. This is this side's where my light's coming from. And so I've put in some extra white highlights here and I've mixed in a little white down there because I wanna show that it's round. And then this side is all solid dark uh, green. And if I wanted to, if I wanted to be extreme in my light, I could even add in some black there to mix that up. Okay, now let's see. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go get a different um, paint color. Keep painting with cedar. I'll be right back. Ah! I hate it! Green, green, greeny, green. Green, 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 and green. Uh -huh. I'm I'm lighting green. your face. It's pretty. I'm making my face green. He's dark on the other one. He's green with the dark on the lighter. Ooh, it's gonna look good. I think I need to do some spicy. Are you talking to him? Uh-huh. Are you teaching him? I'm making it spicy. You're just I'm, telling him what you're doing? I'm making it spicy, Mom. Look, I'm making it spicy. Spicy, I like it. White sprinkles. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Good job. Okay, so what do we do now? You're gonna to want to paint in your table. See the white part at the bottom of your page? You want to paint that in. I need a brown table. And what's happening while um, you have brown in your watercolors? Huh? Or do you want to use these browns? This brown's like ch a chocolate. This this one's a, a chocolatey. Mm -hmm. um, that one's a table kind of brown. Yeah, it it's is. Also a chocolate brown too. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Let's see what brown is red. Ooh, okay. All these watercolors look really pretty. Mm-hmm. All right. I am going to 
continue on with my, I'm gonna use these three colors for my table. Uh-huh. Like this. Yeah. And I need to draw the next white. Uh-huh. So I want you to look at these three colors. What is the lightest color? Do you know the lightest color of this one? These three? Mm, I think that one's Uh huh. And what's the darkest color? This one. Uh-huh. Good. And this one is just for interest. We're gonna add some texture with that. But if we think about from light to dark. If my light's coming from this side, I'm gonna use my golden color more over here. And as I keep going this way, I'm gonna use more of my dark brown. We'll Mommy. see how that goes. Mommy. Yes, baby. So here is right here. That these are the reds. Mm -hmm. and, the, and these are the leds in the back. Oh, I like that, very good. Okay, again, starting with my double loading, I've got a little bit of the red and a little bit of the yellow, and I'm just gonna kinda work my way through here. So, yeah, I need to mix it up too. Mm-hmm, you can. Are you gonna draw your legs? No, nope, I'm not gonna give my table legs. Mine have, have legs. <laughs> I can't stand to have legs. Well, mine has legs. You just can't see the legs. Why? Because it's under the table. We're just looking at the top of the table right now. Wow. What you think? It's cool. It's cool. I need to draw green grass. Green grass is always the best thing. Yeah. Green, 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 green. And then I'm gonna put this. Ooh, that looks spicy. Cedar, when you walk outside on a sunny day, what do you see on the ground that follows you everywhere? Huh? Flowers. Flowers? Okay. Oops. So this is what I have so far. Got a little interest in there. What I was asking Cedar is when you walk outside on a sunny day, you usually see your... You ever see your shadow? I see my shadow a lot. Right. So when we have a light source, light causes us to have shadows. You can see a shadow on my arm from the paper, right? So when we're talking about art, we have to think about what things look like in real life. You can see a shadow underneath my glasses on my face. So there's shadows everywhere. Wherever we have light, there is a shadow cast somewhere. So if we think about our light source on this side, which way, Cedar, would the shadow go? Would it go over onto the dark side? Yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. So the vase would cast a shadow on the table this way, right? And we can talk about shapes of shadows later, but yeah. for now, let's just try to create a little bit of a shadow. Now, a shadow doesn't have to be literally a black color. It's not always black. Ooh, I like that. That right there kind of looks gross. It looks gross. Um, okay, so a shadow doesn't necessarily have to be black. It can just be dark brown. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of this dark brown, and I'm going to take the edge of my paintbrush and sweep it sideways from my vase, about the center of my vase. Oh, so here's your table. Uh-huh. Here's your table gone. Yeah. I thought there was just a flying something. Hey, Mommy, I need to make a shadow. See? I need to make you a shadow. You can see that hat. Now, now want... I've got a shadow going. What? Uh -huh. I don't want to make a shadow. You take a dark color, and if you pretend like your light is shining this way, your shadow would go this way. I need to draw a sun. You need to draw a sun? Okay. Okay. 
Now, <clears throat> let's talk about flowers. Ooh, that's a green sign. <laughs> okay, so we have all of these different flower shapes. I like to just kind of lay them out. I think I might work with this one and maybe this one or this one. I don't know, we'll see. Or that one, that one's cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but anyway, you have lots to choose from. We're gonna do the petals of the flowers first. Um, what I want you to think about is how many flowers that you wanna put in your vase. I want you to think about which ones are in the front and which ones are in the back. And I want you to also think about where their leaves might be. Um, I had a tulip Mom, are we gonna earlier. Are flowers? Yeah, we are. We're fixing to get started on the flowers. And I'm going to let you use acrylics for that, too, if you want to. You done with your watercolors? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I had a tulip with me that uh, just earlier today, and I was looking at how the tulip has these leaves that they split out like this, and then the stalk goes straight up, and then the flower comes out of that. So you wanna think about like how the leaves hang and all of those things before we start actually painting. Hey mom. Yes. I think I need to, this is Mima's house. Is that this, Mima's house? No, this is at Mima's house. Oh, okay. And I need to draw like this shop down there, like a really small shop because it's okay. really far away. That's fine. You just make your painting whatever you want to make it, okay? I need like some kind of gray color. Okay, so for flower petals, I usually like to use something like this brush. Um, it's kind of got a rounded tip. It's not like a water, I mean, you could use a watercolor tip if you wanted to, um, and a lot of people do. It just depends on how defined you want your petals. But for this purpose, I like this brush. And I'm gonna do a mix of um, these three colors. So light pink, dark pink, and a little bit of this like poppy color. Poppy? Poppy. Poppy. Mm -hmm. You said poppy. This does not take very much paint. So in the department of paint, less is more, especially when you're drawing flowers. Just a tiny little dollop will do you just fine. A dollop of daisy. <laughs> okay, so first Mom, thing I'm going to do. Me mess up. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I... Did I bump you? No. Yeah, Mom, you're, you're making me shake. Oh, okay. Sorry. My arm shake. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, so for drawing the petals, I'm going to double load my little round brush with light pink and dark pink. So light pink and dark pink. And then I am just going to start making these little... blossoms. Whoa. That's the light. So, Mom. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know that whenever we go to Mima's house, uh, there's that little shop light? Right yeah. Uh -huh. At the night it turns on. Yeah. See, there's the shop Good job. We need it to dry. You pay attention to detail, don't you? Mm -hmm. Whoa. That was cool. Okay, I'll show you what I got so far. So I'm just kind of drawing in or painting in some of these little blossoms. And you can see I'm not mixing my colors up too much because the difference in the color helps add interest. And I'm just kind of pressing along. I want you to think about flowers that might not be all facing us. They might be facing away from us or maybe pointing down. Draw Mima's house. Mima's house. Whoa, 
Mom, look at that. Look at that color. Oh, yeah. And I might come back in with a little white to add in some highlighted blossoms. I just want to fill up my vase with little smushy dots. Mommy, so there's right mm -hmm. there on the flower pot, and there's Papa's shop with the thing right there, and there's mm -hmm. his where he puts his tractors and all his um, yeah. vehicles. Yeah. And there's the table, and there's Mima's house. Mm -hmm. There's the sun. So my detail looks pretty good. Your detail looks amazing. Okay, so here's kind of what I have so far. Just a little, if you can tell, little splotches, right? That are gonna be flowers. Now I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this poppy color here with a really tiny, tiny tip brush. And I'm just gonna go in and dot the centers. I can't see it. Yeah. Oh, here, let me see. Why do Yay! Now you need to add some flowers to the top of your vase. Do you want to use my paints? Uh-huh. I'm going to draw some green. I need some green. Here you go. Here. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to... Those that had the four petals, I am going to dot the centers of them. And then I might even add in some little strokes. And There's a flower gone. Mm-hmm. The flower is looking so weird. <laughs> Even like the flash is going around. Yeah. And I want you to really take your time doing this. Okay. So this is what we have so far. You can see I've added in a little bit of the red, a little bit of the white, and a little bit of the two pinks. Now we were looking at um, the tulips this morning and there was a bumblebee inside the tulip. And he was doing his job pollinating the flowers, carrying it to the other flowers. So I think I'm gonna use a little bit of black to show what I saw in the tulips. Now, this may be a little too detailed for little ones, but that's, you know, totally up to you guys. Like, so soft, so smooth. These watercolors, yeah. watercolors I haven't been used yet. They're so smooth. You know it. I love new paints. When you look, they're so smooth. Uh -huh. Yeah, they are. They're very smooth. They were poured really nicely. Oop. Mm. <laughs> Whoa! What'd you think? Good. Mom, here's a tiny flower that's that just started growing. Mm-hmm. The tiny flower just this. Started growing. I love it. These ones haven't been growing for a few years. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which color I could draw. This one. I think I'll go red or blue. 
So right now I'm adding in some black um, to the center of my flowers. And then also to the flowers that I drew that are kind of sideways, which is where the flower connects to the stems. I think I got them all. There's the flower I guy. So. Oops, I got, I missed one. Yeah, right the here. Oh, uh -huh. So I'll show you again. See where I went in with the blacks? And it's kind of, every little thing that you do develops your painting. You just have to keep working with it. And sometimes you may get frustrated and you're like, I don't like this. I don't like which way it's going. Yes, see his? Good job. Okay, there we go. You've got flowers down there and on the top. Good job. So if you get frustrated, just let it dry. Come back to it the next day and keep working. Um, I'm going to start with some stems. Um, and I need to go get that other green. I'll be right back. Looks good. Mine looks good too. I don't know how she got it. <laughs> okay, I'm back. What do you think? Can you scoot over? Do you see my scissors? Oh, I see them. Okay. I'm gonna use this darker green to do some leaves since my base is kind of green. I wanna do something different. Okay. Now, let's see. I think. I play with my dinosaurs at night. <laughs> I used to. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. How come? Because whenever you were snuggling me mm -hmm. in that bed in, in the fitness room, mm -hmm. um, I used to play with my dinosaurs while you were snuggling me. Mm -hmm. I remember I used to read you your dinosaur book every no, night. I was playing with my dinosaur toys at night whenever you were asleep in cash. Oh. I was playing with my dinosaur. Okay, so I'm going to start kind of drawing in some stems in the empty space. And remember, every, every flower doesn't have to have a stem. We just have to kind of know that the stems are there. This is what this looks like. See how I've drawn in the stems? See, not every flower has a stem because that's not possible. We're just trying to show that they're there and they're in the background behind some of the front flowers, okay? Mommy, I think yes. Oh, I see. I they, see weren't, they weren't poured inside here or poured inside here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to start drawing in some leaves yeah. hanging down. This video has been 20 minutes and 20 you know seconds. Mm -hmm. Almost done. Almost done. Are you done? Uh huh. I got all my details. The water is flowing. Mom. The water is flowing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So this is what I'm going to start adding in just leaves and grass, and I'll put some at the top. This is Cedar's <laughs> finished product. And he did a good job. We will take a picture of both of these so that you can see our finished product. But just keep painting and have fun. Keep adding to it. If you want to, to take a break, take a break and come back to it. You don't have to finish this project today. Anyway, I hope you had fun. Hopefully your parents sat down and did some art with you today too. We miss you guys and can't wait to get back in the studio with you. Yeah. <laughs>